Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the study manual for the T's. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 107. Please turn to it, page 107, and today is our lesson number 55. There are practice problems that you see there on page 107, and the one that we are about to solve is, actually, the one that we are about to solve is not on page 107, it is a bonus problem. And on page 107 there are only three problems. The problem that we do today is not, part of, is not one of the practice problems, it is a bonus problem. It is not in the book. It is a bonus problem because today is your lucky day. That is exactly what you've been wanting, I know that. All this time you were yearning to have an extra algebra problem, weren't you? There we go. Here's the problem. Negative 2 over 5 Negative 2 over 5x plus 2 equals 1 over 5, 1 over 5x plus 11. Let's see what we can do, shall we? Let's see what we can do. As always, we have to bring all the unknowns on one side, all the known quantities on the other side. Typically, we bring all the unknowns on the left hand side, all the known quantities on the right hand side. By the way, if you happen to be one of those people who, who feels that uh, if you feel that you need more help, uh, if you need feel you if you feel that you need more practice on linear equations, solving equations here, because in the book they just give you three or four questions, that's not enough. If you need to practice more, on my channel you will find 15 videos, 15 videos based on precisely that concept, learning how to solve linear equations. On the on my channel you will find 200 videos that are there if you're interested in teaching yourself algebra. The first 100 videos deal with the elementary concept of algebra. Evaluating algebraic expression, adding and subtracting like terms, multiplying and dividing algebraic expressions, and finally, learning how to solve linear equations from day 86 to 100. And then the second part of the course, from day 101 to 200, will teach you how to solve simple word problems. They are all there if you wish to avail yourself. So here we go. So what do we do here? We do exactly what we said. We need to bring this 1 over 5x over this side. How do we do it? By subtracting negative, by subtracting one, 1 over 5 from both sides. By subtracting 1 over 5 from both, 1 over 5x from both sides. We need to bring the 2 to that side. How do we do that? By subtracting 2 from both sides. Follow. So now when we add the two quantities here, the positive 2 and the negative 2, they will cancel each other out. And similarly here, we have a positive 1 over x. And here we have a negative 1 over x, a positive 1 over x, and negative 1 over x. They will kill each other. That was the whole point. And we're left with negative, negative 2 fifth x. Let me put it in proper handwriting. Negative 2 fifth x and a negative 1 fifth x. And on this side, we have what? We have is that right? That's it. And here we have positive 11 and a negative 2. Positive 11 and a negative 2 is going to give us positive 9. And how much do you suppose 2 fifth and 1 fifth is? 2 fifth plus 1 fifth, because they have the same denominator, we could just add the top here. 2 fifth and 1 fifth should be 3 fifths. It should be 3 fifths. So I'm going to rewrite this. Instead of writing them as two separate terms, we're going to combine them together because they are like terms. Negative 2 fifth and negative 1 fifth should be negative 3 fifths. So it is negative 3 fifths. Negative 3 fifths x negative 3 fifth x. Now we are interested we are interested in getting the x by itself. We are not interested in having this part. How do we get rid of this uh, coefficient here? Very simple. Multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of the coefficient. We don't need the sign here so I'm going to get rid of it. This is 9. Multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of of the coefficient. So it's negative. Negative times negative will become positive and 5 over 3. There we go. Because negative times negative will become positive, and this 5 will cancel out with that 5, this 3 will cancel out with this 3, leaving us with just x. 
since we are multiplying this side of the equation by negative 5 over 3, we must do the same over here. 5 over 3. 5 over negative 3, we can write that as 5 over negative 3, or we can write that as negative 5 over 3, or we can simply write that as negative 5 over 3. It, ma it makes no difference. They are all the same. So that's it. This cancels out with this one. This 3 is going to go. This 5 is going to cancel out with this one. This negative times negative becomes positive, so we end up with just the x. And here, we see a 9 and we see a 3. Let's divide top and bottom by 3. Because this 9 that we see here, this, that 9 that we see there, is in fact 9 over 1. So let's divide top and bottom by 3. So this 3 drops out and this 9 will become 3. And we'll end up with 3 times 5 with a negative sign. 3 times, 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Well, that's our answer. Negative 15 is our answer. X is negative 15. Now what we should at this point, what we should do at this point, if you have the time, if the time allows, and if you're in the mood, you must always verify your answer if you're able to, if you have the time. Since we have the time, we are here, obviously we're not in a hurry. We're doing it at a pretty leisurely pace. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna put it back in the equation and see if the, if this thing actually holds up. The way we say in the language of mathematics is that we said that we have to now see if x equals to negative 7, 15 satisfies this equation. Let's do it, shall we? I need the room, but first I'll get out of your way in case I was blasting the view before. We need the room, so we have to raise it. Remember, x equals to negative 5 is what we are trying to prove, uh, is what we are trying to ascertain, because that's what we are claiming. We want to make sure that our claim is correct. So this is 1 over 5x. And this is positive 2. And let's do it. x equals to negative 15. So we have negative 2 over 5 times negative 15 plus, let me start from a little bit from this side, so negative 2 over 5 times negative 15, this quantity times that quantity, plus 2 equals 1 over 5 times negative 15 plus 11. Let's see what happens, shall we? Well, this side is quite straightforward because this 15 is going to cancel out with that 5. If we divide top and bottom by 5, this 15 will become negative 3. So here, on this side, we end up with negative 3 from here, negative 3, negative 3, and positive 11, giving us with positive 8. This side better also give us positive 8. If it doesn't, then we are in trouble. If it doesn't, then something has gone wrong. Something has gone wrong in the sense that either the value of the x that we're claiming is wrong, or we made some mistake in the checking itself. We'll see. Let's divide top and bottom by 3. Or rather, let's divide top and bottom by 5. So this 5 cancels out and the 15 becomes 3. So we have negative 2 here. We have this negative 2 and we have this negative 3. And a positive 2. What do you suppose negative 2 and a negative 3 is? Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. Positive 6 and a positive 2. What do you know? It checks out. 6 plus 2 is indeed 8. That was all. That was the end of the topic of linear algebra. Tomorrow we'll begin the very last topic in the book, which has to do with absolute value. And we're going to go through five videos, five days, five lessons on the concept of absolute value. And once we have done so, and that will bring us to day 60, and once we have done so, assuming, uh, uh, depending on how, what my schedule allows me, I might actually make some more videos helping you with the practice problems or practice exams. There are two practice exams at the end of the book. If, uh, if I, as I said, if the schedule allows, I might put together videos on the two sections in the practice exam, but that's not a promise. But, we, uh, but I will make five more videos and the course is going to end on day number 60 uh, tentatively. It might actually extend, as I said, if I do practice number one, uh, pre exam number one and exam number two that you find there are two practice exam, practice test at the end of the book. But so far, as it stands, as I said, we'll do absolute value on day number 56 through 60. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.